face me, Narud. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think? to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still? Believe in me?
Hello, Kerrigan. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lives you've ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster. You made us all into monsters. Thank you, Jim. For everything. My pleasure, darling. see my true enemy. He waits for me in the void, wielding powers I cannot imagine. I go to face him, having renounced everything. My humanity. My identity. The man I love. But I will not face this enemy alone. I am the Swarm. Sarah Kerrigan awakens in a laboratory somewhere in the Umojin Protectorate. Was it a dream? A vision? Her memories of life as the Queen of Blades are a jumbled, mixed-up nightmare. But it doesn't matter. Now that she is free, her only focus is revenge. Valerian's tests prove that Kerrigan can still control Zerg, and that she is not to be trifled with. Jim Rayner, having called an end to the tests, is on his way to get Kerrigan, ready to start a new life together. But Arcturus Mengsk is still looking for her. Rayner and Kerrigan fight their way through the laboratory, side by side. Despite the horrors of battle, they are together again, saving each other's lives and reveling in it. When they are separated during the fight, Kerrigan escapes in Raynor's personal shuttle, believing that Valerian will send a team to rescue Raynor. But Jim is trapped in a firefight with the ever-dangerous ghost 
Nova. Valerian and Horner escape the Dominion Task Force, while Kerrigan stays behind to wait for Raynor. In desperation, she takes control of an old Zerg hive on the planet and uses it to destroy the Dominion forces. When they are all dead, a tired, disgusted Kerrigan returns to her dropship, hoping to get word from Jim. Devastated, Kerrigan gives up any hope of a better life. Now her entire will is bent toward building a Zerg swarm to break the Dominion and get her to Arcturus Mengsk. The Terran Emperor must pay. As part of that war, she retakes the Zerg hive world of Char, defeating the noble Terran general Horus Warfield. The swarm grows. Dominion worlds fall. As she gathers power, Kerrigan begins to sense that she may have a greater purpose, but it has not yet been given form. She sets out to conquer yet another world, traveling on her massive leviathan, when she senses a familiar, unwelcome presence. Kerrigan travels to Zerus, birth world of the Zerg, and discovers the secret of the primals. They are individuals who can steal the essence of their prey and evolve. Tapping into the power of Zerus, Kerrigan willingly undergoes the transformation into the primal Queen of Blades. This will secure her rule over the primals and give her the power she needs to make Minx pay for his crimes. The newly reborn primal Queen of Blades learns that Mengsk has a hybrid breeding lab where powerful creatures are spawned, an unholy melding of Zerg and Protoss essence. Kerrigan knows she must shut this lab down before attacking Mengsk. At the heart of the lab, she encounters Nerud, a powerful shapeshifter who serves an ancient dead Zelnaga called Amon. Nerud who seeks to resurrect his master, is the most powerful foe Kerrigan has ever faced. After recovering from her fight, Kerrigan sets her sights on Mengsk, but the ever-wily Emperor reveals that Jim Raynor is still alive and being held hostage in a Dominion prison. With the help of Valerian and Horner, Kerrigan is able to learn Jim's location, a prison ship called the Moros. She breaks in and finds Jim, knowing all the while that her transformation back into the Queen of Blades has created a rift between them that can never be healed. With Jim out of danger, Kerrigan is finally able to take her swarm to Korhal and face down Arcturus Mengsk. In the final battle before the palace, Jim Raynor and his raiders join the fight to help Kerrigan. But even when the palace guard is defeated, there remains one last thing for Kerrigan to do.